Let us try to understand the document type, which is accounting document type in SAP. So in this short presentation, I will explain about accounting document type, which is key element of SAP document. Whenever you post an accounting journal in SAP, there is some header section and line item section. Header section being applicable to all the line items. And the key element of the header section is document type as well as document dates. In this short presentation, I would explain about the document type and how the document type design will impact the document processing while a particular accounting journal is posted. Before going further, let's look at what is the use case for a document type. In general, you have a lot of different types of business processes that you perform in a company. For example, you have payroll journals, vendor invoices, vendor payments, customer invoices, and customer payments. These are just an example only. And the use case being identifying accounting journals by nature of a particular business process and have unique document type number range also have certain control functions at the time of processing a document. So let's look at what are the SAP standard document types which are available. If you look at here the list uh, which is a short list from the SAP provided document types you can clearly see here there are document types for asset posting and accounting document posting, depreciation posting, and customer invoices that you process, as well as vendor invoices that you process. And also some document types for goods issues and goods receipts and so on and so forth. Let us look at the attributes of a document type here. In the screen, you can clearly see document type AB here has got many attributes which will be controlling your document posting. For example, whether I can use this particular document type to post assets, customer documents, vendor documents, as well as material, Jill account and so on and so forth. The same way here, other control features such as whether a particular document type allows document to be posted in the negative. When I say negative, for example, in SAP, all debits are posted with positive sign, all credits are posted with negative sign. Whether a particular debit is also allowed with negative sign is the configuration setting that you use here to allow a particular document type to be posted negatively. So standard practice is not to have that, but there may be situations where your customer may need that kind of setting. And also whether the document type is allowed for intercompany, entering the tra trading partner and so on and so forth. And there are certain control functions, for example, here, when you are processing an accounting document, whether you need to enter your reference number or not is what you can see here to make it mandatory to have the reference number at the time of accounting journal posting. And also if you here, see here, you know, by default, you can have a different exchange rate type to be used at the time of foreign currency documents. So here I summarized um, functions of document type 
control functions and, and as well as the reporting functions. So the control functions that I just now described, uh, such as allowing documents to functions in such a way, and also use certain document number ranges, etc. Whereas the reporting functions are to identification of the business process itself. So you may have tons of accounting documents. So at the time of researching or reporting certain information, you may require to search accounting documents, journals that you posted with an identifier that is what you use as a identification as a reporting function the document type. So let's look at a small demo on this and uh, see how document type functionality in action. Here I am trying to enter accounting journal. So when I'm entering accounting journal, this is a typical complex posting. I'm not using easy transaction like FB50, but I'm using F-02 see the functionality of the document type here this is the header section where you have document date posting date and other information like so the important thing is here the document type you can see the drop down here to list of document types which are available in the system right you can see at test uh, document type created 01 and the other standard document types i explained earlier let me cancel this here and try to process you know i entered the first line item which is debit uh, 113100 gl account and i entered the document type and also the period and so on and so forth here so let me go further you see here the document type essay an entry required for field reference right here if you recollect the setting at the document type is controlling whether this particular field is required or just optional only right so in this case the document type is forcing so normally reference field you will use for entering the invoice number so let me put that invoice number like one two three four let's go further here and uh, let me put let's say five hundred dollars and also i'm using another gl account like posting key 50 and again let me use the same jail account it's okay to have debit and credit for the same account so when I post here the document number which is generated is what you can see here for example display document number here the number which is posted here is one zero 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 one four zero five three okay so the number which is generated here is linked to the document type that you're using okay so let me go to the configuration section of sap to look at where this document type is configured you can always go here financial accounting of course new journal ledger new gl you call and go here into the global settings normally the document types are related to everything right so that is the reason in the global settings are there here with the document type you can also directly go to the document type related transaction code in the configuration so here our concentration is to look at like you know ab document type or sa document type here right so in, in the example that we were looking at is like sa document type let me i can search the sa document type here by clicking on the position sa so I can go here, click on the SA document type. You see the number range is 01, which indicates like what is the number range embedded into the 01. So let me click on this number range information and put the company code 3000 and try to see, you know, what is the status of the number ranges. So for the 01, of course here, like yearly maintained the number ranges are there, but here there is something called 9999, which is applicable to all the years. So you carefully observe from 2008 onwards there is no special number is maintained here so it is being used as a 9999 so here the next number that you have seen just now posted is the one which is the current number and if i make another journal uh, it will post like 54 the document number like that 
hopefully you enjoyed this uh, small presentation and uh, please visit um, simplefinancesupport.com we provide uh, many small videos explaining the different concepts in the finance area focusing on SAP thanks for visiting